So uh, actually, this is a really, really old shed, and it had a different, uh, a lot of different ideas. In the beginning, when I had the shed, the roof used to go like this. So do you see the peak how it used to go? And uh, then I thought, hey, let's not bring, my, let's bring some light in. So I made a flat roof, and it just followed this being here. So I had a flat roof. I used to get rid of the snow perfect because it was a metal roof. And then I noticed that, gall darn it, the way the sun would hit after I lifted this shed a little bit. I thought, wow, you know, December 21st, uh, this thing is getting excellent easterly exposure. Excellent, you know, for solar. That's when I got the idea, hey, let's just go up. So now the south wall on this shed is actually where the panels are is 24 feet. It's 24 feet high, that side of the shed. And this side here is uh, close to 8 feet, at least. This wall is 8 feet higher, whereas before, the wall only came to about here. I don't know if you can show you, but this is where the wall used to come. Eh? So I kicked that up quite a bit. And this really goes high on the south side. So uh, it's all rigged to accept panels. That's why I did it the third time. The third time I reconfigured this old shed. Um, that's when I added the panels. Now, uh, let's just go around here. And, uh, and what I want him to, uh, shoot on, you see that muffler clamp right there? And, that, and I've got another muffler clamp, because that's because I'm hitting large joists. So I've got another muffler clamp here. I'm hitting big joists inside. Where, uh, the muffler clamp grabs the outer pipe. And a muffler clamp, after you put everything together, it's, it's catching that on both sides. And they're, the bite is unbelievable. They're biting right into that, into that outer pipe. And then I just put, um, uh, you know, extenders on, on what's left of the muffler clamp. And then I just go ready rod after that. Like, you can get ready rod, you know, 20-something feet long. So you could have a bolt that's 20-something feet long if you wanted. So I'm just going to catch through the joists as I go up. And that's how I got uh, this side of the wall 24 feet high. Now, if you looked at the very, very top, that's why I've got a pipe and a pipe, and if I can get my cameraman to catch that right now, is you can see how I've got... I can move that little set of panels total from easterly shot and in the dead of summer I can get uh, we get beautiful uh, westerly shot and I can get another uh, those are one tens up there so the uh, two panels on the absolute top are uh, 110 watts so the top eight panels the top eight panels are 120s so here I got uh, 120 times 8 is 960 watts then these bottom four right here, these are 150-watt uh, panels. So 600 plus 960 is 1,560. So really, my total shed, you still have to add the two 110s. So that would be 220 watts plus 1,560 watts would be my son. And then I got a, a, another panel, and but that's my boat panel. That, that little panel is a 95 water. And uh, I was getting nothing in it, you know, for, during the, the winter, so I decided to just strap it to the shed anyway. And uh, that used to go on this bolt right here. You can see how I've got a bracket. And everything is right over top of the uh, outboard motors where the gas jerry cans go and that. So it's impossible to bang your head on it. It was out of the boat completely. And uh, it worked good, but I wasn't getting the watts out of the panel. So I decided to strap it on there for the winter time. You know. So I'm well over, you know, 17, 1780, 1,780 watts that this shed produces in full sun. And this came later, so now I'm getting a really good easterly shot. I can, uh, actually the, the, the pipe and the pipe panels, uh, you know, you can guide wire that. You could, it doesn't be on a, it doesn't have to be to, attached to a building or anything. You can guide wire all that. That's why if you got a problem getting up above the trees, really, you have no problem. You just put the tower up. Inside the tower is another pipe, and you can literally follow the sun as we go. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot. The snow is three and a half feet deep in spots, so we're gonna. I'm just going to walk away. You'll get better shots of it as I 
continue these videos, but we're going to go to the road. I'll get my cameraman to shoot that. And you'll even see my old windmill tower. I only use it for solar. There's an actuator on that panel. Uh, I guess as you grow older, you get more and more scared to climb that tower. It's a little bit terrifying, but uh, but there's actually not an actuator on there, and I can even move those that one panel around if I want to. Showing my bear proof garbage can. So if you uh, if you come out here, you can see my uh, original ray, and that's what I started with. That's all I had was, uh, and that original ray actually we're standing quite a ways. I don't know if you can see it, but it's 12 feet square, so 12 feet high by 12 feet wide, and that's all I had in the beginning. And uh, the tower right beside it, if you look all the way up and you zoom, if I can get my cameraman to zoom right at it, you can see it actually has an actuator. So I could uh, move that thing around, but I don't. I was only interested in my easterly shocks. I didn't have enough um, easterly back then. And that it's your most important. All you solar people, from the moment that the sun gets up till that 4, 4.30 in the dead of winter, and then that's it. You simply have no sun left. But in the summertime, you get it from when the sun comes up. You know, well, here we get almost right till 11 o'clock, and I'm still generating enough watts to run the fridge. The way I've got my fridge set up, the minute that the sun begins to go down, boom, fridge is off. And it waits till the next day with my dump, uh, the way I'm rigged to dump. But um, my fridge is back there. You can see the same metal now, if I can get you to zoom to the actual house. The same metal that my house is sided with my fridges both my fridges my propane and my electric they're just simply uh, sided with the same metal it's just a box that i made and they're all boxed in they can breathe top and bottom very good they can feel the breeze 